that it's taken me so long to get my video up. I um, have a sweet family that I used to teach piano to back in my home ward. Um, and they have adopted, well, they have two adopted black kids who are adorable and one adopted white daughter who's amazing also. And I taught all of them piano. <coughs> Actually, I don't think I taught the daughter piano. Um, but I taught them and so I immediately thought of them for this. And um, I was really excited to talk to them about it, but she hasn't been able to get back to me until yesterday. So I'm sorry that it's taken me so long. So what I did is I asked her three questions specifically. I asked, um, first of all, if there was ever a point when the two adopted kids felt separate or different from the rest of the family. I asked if, um, if she, the mom, had ever noticed a difference in the way that people treated her and her family before and after adopting those kids. And then I just left a really open-ended, what has your overall experience been as a multiracial, multicultural family? Um, so what she had told me is that she never, the two kids never came to her specifically and 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 mentioned that they had been feeling separate, but she's, she's sure that they have felt that way. But their family has just been trying to be so, so supportive and open about it. Uh, and j what she was careful to mention was um, how they spend tons of time explaining how grateful they are that they have a loving Heavenly Father who creates so many beautiful things that look different and are still beautiful and are amazing just the way that they are. Um, and then she had a really beautiful line that she said too. She said, what we look like doesn't have any bearing on who we can or, or on who can or can't be family. And I thought that was amazing because sometimes I feel like we look at multiracial families and it's easy to be like, okay, here's them and then there's them. And sometimes you feel like, oh, they, they had so much charity to adopt those kids. But it's not that way to these, to this, to this family. It's literally just that's who their kids are. And it's, it's never been anything less than that. Um, she said that she hasn't seen any difference in the way that people treat them, um, which I was really proud of and happy about. Uh, she did say that she wishes, um, she wishes she could kind of be in a more culturally diverse community <laughs> um, because they only have like a few black kids in their school. So they have a harder time relating or sometimes people don't know how to act around them um but she says that they're just really open and hoping that um that anytime that they feel different that they would be willing to come and talk to them um but anyway so my expectations I was kind of I'm kind of sad about my expectations I was kind of thinking that she would have noticed some difference in the way that they were treated um or that the kids would notice a difference in the way that they were treated and I know these kids and they are adorable and so sweet and so good. Um, the boy is like 15 now uh, and the girl's got to be like seven or eight. Um, but they're wonderful. Um, so I was a little bit, um, I wasn't expecting to see a ton of, I, like, like before when I was teaching them, I never would have thought that there was prejudice, but since being in this class actually has made me doubt humanity a little bit more. So I think I was kind of expecting people to, um, to react in a way that they, they didn't. So I feel unfair towards humanity. I'm sorry. Um, but it, it was important and interesting to me to notice that, you know, we may, I'll be a little bit racist, like the video that we watched, but it's, people are generally good. Sometimes we look to be offended by things. We look to, to see things that are different and to see people acting in prejudice, but generally that's not, it's not the case. It's never, it, it's hardly ever done with malice in a lot of cases. So that actually gave me a lot of hope. Um, and I think that how that can impact relationships with future students. I really feel like it's important for me to not have any bias, but also for me to be helping people not to look for ways to be offended in things because we can all be offended by stuff. Um, but like this sweet little family has just seen love and appreciation, hasn't noticed any prejudices at all. Um, and I think partially that's because they haven't been looking for them. 
Um, anyway, so I thought it was really, really interesting to talk to them. And I'm sorry again that this has come a little bit later, but thanks.